Coming up this evening at 5.30, Somerville Medical Center is holding a ribbon cutting on the phase one opening of a $68 million project. And here to talk about it today is Dr. Logan Rollins, a surgeon at Somerville Medical. Dr. Rollins, thank you very much for being in here with us today. You've got to be pretty excited right now. Yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah, we're super excited. It's a $68 million tower expansion project where we're going to be adding three new floors over the period of the next year. The first one's going to be in the next couple of weeks once we get approval. We're going to be adding three, uh, 30 new medical surgical beds that are all brand new. Um, they look amazing. I just toured them yesterday, so we're super excited to have those new beds on uh, coming up. And then uh, in the first quarter of next year, we're going to be opening up a new ICU and a new step-down unit as well uh, on the fourth, fl fourth floor. So how will all of these changes be beneficial to the Somerville community at large? Yeah, so I mean the community just keeps growing. More and more people keep moving to the Charleston area and a lot of that growth is moving out west. So, you know, we are expanding our bed volume by about 40% of our total volume to meet that need. All right, and of course that means you, if you're expanding, you need more professionals to come in. Are you having to bring in medical professionals from elsewhere or are you fully staffed? Yeah, a lot of it's just expansion of our current services with the providers that we have. Obviously, as we continue to grow, we may need to bring in a few more people, um, but we have a lot of expansion from the providers that we currently have on staff. All right, so. and what comes next? What's the next step? So in a couple of weeks, once we get clearance from the state, we'll be opening up the new floor beds uh, and then the surgeries that are currently happening uh, will be going to those new beds. So. All right. There are uh, lots of medical care providers in this area. Why was the need so great to have uh, the NICU center there in Somerville? Yeah, I know because a lot of the you know the the, the services for you know people to to give birth and have children, you know they want to kind of stay local. A lot of people don't want to travel super far in order to have those services. And so in order to provide that without having to transfer people, we're able to do that locally in the Somerville area. And you're looking to have that uh, that ribbon cutting or groundbreaking that happens. Um, uh, this afternoon. This afternoon, yeah, we're going to be cutting the ribbon on the new tower and uh, showing it off to a bunch of people and we'll be excited to open it up in a couple of weeks. Well, congratulations and thank you so much for coming on and talking with us about this. And again, the ribbon cutting for phase one of the new project, the new tower he's talking about, it's happening at 530. We're going to have a look at the entire event today and we'll feature it on our seven o'clock newscast. So make sure you stay tuned. Dr. Rollins, thank you very much. Thank we'll you. We'll be again. right back after this.